everybody welcome to the new video today i am going to show you the sql interview questions that are frequently asked if you are preparing for data analytics or data science roles i'm going to solve few questions here which could be frequently asked questions in the technical round of these two roles and if you know the sql is a foundation language for any of these roles if you're applying for data engineering or data science or data analytics sql is one of the language which will be the first one to be asked if you are appearing in the interview here i am going to use the platform which is interviewquery.com been asked many times what do i do as a data analyst in my company or that what are the interview questions that are asked i'm sure this video is going to help you a lot seeing the type of question that we are going to solve and you will get a chest so i'm going to start from the easy level then we will move towards the medium and then the hard one without wasting further time let's go ahead with the video all right then so the first one on the easy level question we have to find the duplicate rows out of this table which is user table here and this is going to be the easy one so let's start with the the first one i am going to show you multiple ways here how we can solve this question so let's start with the easy one first we are simply going to take all the rows here whatever mentioned in this table Now we have fetched all the columns from the using the select statement from the user table and then I am going to group by by all these columns and using the having clause to see if any rows is greater than one. So whichever rows will be greater than one will be considered as the duplicate one. Let's run the code. Oh, it worked. We have one name and a Wong, which is duplicated, having the ID two times. Here is the table. We can see the duplicate rows. It's an easy one because you see that the created date is also the same one. If in case the any of the rows is a different one, but the ID is duplicate, then in that case, I mean, though we do not have such case here, but in, in that case, we can use here the different function so suppose if i am using sub query so here we can just partition by that particular uh, column in this case if suppose if the id is a duplicate one then we'll just partition it by id but by default if we know that we have all the rows which is duplicated so even though if we just add the id it won't make much difference over partition by id maybe order by id as well and we'll name this as row and this table this whole table we are going to name it as maybe user one now now it is fetching the rows from this table where we will give the where condition as rw greater than one let's see if this works oh it failed unknown column id in partition by oh i haven't given the from users unknown column id in filled list we are also going to use this column here because all of the columns above will be taken from this table and in this table we have to name those columns or star anything if you want unknown column created date Okay, we have at. There we go. After many trials, but we have got the answer, and you have got the idea. Suppose if any of the date column will be repeated, in that case we can use the column, we can use the clause partition by, to find the duplicates on certain level. Let's move ahead with the medium level question. So here we have where you can you have to find the average commute time. Uh, based on 
the user for each commuter in New York and the average commute time in minutes across all commuters. So the difference is to get for each commuter and all commuters in New York City. First condition would be the city should be New York. So let's start with this. What I am going to do is I am going to first we'll see the output, how the output should look like. We should be having one commuter ID, average commuter time and average time. So average commuter time will be for the each of the commuter. Since this is for the average commuter for each commuter, so I am going to use the partition by for one of the average and no partition by on the second one because the partition by has to be applied on the commuter ID level. What I'm going to do is timestamp def function on the minute level. start it and the end date and partition by commuter id and let's say we will say that order by commuter id as well and we will name this as average commuter time now let's find the average for same thing for time. It's good that it's just auto populates. I don't have to, you know, write it again and again. So there is no partition by here and I'm just going to name it as average time. from the table writes and let's run the query okay we have got some error we have error at the timestamp def line 2 okay maybe because it's not rounded off so i am going to use floor to change it to the integer from the decimal value Let's see if it works. SQL syntax at line two. Maybe I'm going to remove this order by and we'll see if this works. Oh, well, we have duplicate commuter ID. Forgot to apply the where condition, which is city as NY. well it worked we have got the commuter id average commuter time as per the id and the average commuter time on all the levels this was the medium level question here and let's move ahead with the hard one now let's go ahead with the hard level question and here in this question we have to find that let's say we have two tables transactions and products hypothetically the transaction tables consist of over a billion rows of purchases bought by users we are trying to find paired products that are often purchased together by the same users such as wine and bottle openers chips and beer etc write a query to find the top five paired products and their names notes for the purpose of satisfying the test case p2 should be the item that comes first in the alphabet which means that p2 has to be alphabetically greater than the p1 and the quantity columns represent paired products so let's go ahead and see the tables first we have transactions table where we have the id user id created date and quantity and we have products table which gives the information about the product including the price and the output is expected as p1 p2 and quantity now if you know about the market basket analysis i'm sure this kind of questions will be the frequently asked question in the interview for sure because this is actual scenario that which happens in the company i myself i have solved such kind of one of the situation in lots where i had to compare two lots which could be which has been bought together so if someone is buying foundation there is a high chance that they would be buying concealer as well 
similarly if someone is buying the beer they can be buying something to munch on so in this case any we have to find any two items which are bought together to see the cross selling of the product if beer is sold they will promote the chips or something like that so this is a very interesting and very important question that go that is going to get asked in the interview for sure now what we are going to do is since we have transaction and product table let's start with the cte where we will be joining all both of these tables and then we will start to work on the requirements what we have so i'm going to solve this question first we'll just join the these two tables transaction and products in the cte and later on we'll just fetch out the results from the the cte table so i'm just going to create a cte as select from the both of the tables so whichever tables which whichever column that is required i'm taking only those uh, let's say p dot i'm giving the allies products as p p dot id p dot name transaction table uh, allies as t t dot created at t dot quantity if if i have to use it dot user id let's see from products p join so this join if i'm not going to give any name by default it will take as inner join transactions t on p dot p dot id equals t dot dot id now i'm going to fetch this information in the select statement so we are going to take name as p1 and now one more thing since we are getting the p1 and p2 and we are going to take it from the same table so i am going to use the self join so suppose I am going to give this CT as CTE1 and CT1, CTE1 as C1, as P1, C2 dot name as P2. Here we have, let us mention the quantity column represent the pair products count. So let's just give count star as quantity. from CTE as C1 self joining CTE C2 on we are we have to make sure that the ID is same so CTE C1 dot ID equals CT dot ID where here we have to make sure that both of the items products are not same so first we will give c1 dot name is not equal to c2 dot name and it has to be same transaction so c1 dot created at equals c2 dot at since this is a billions of rows we are going to group by since we have used the count function so group by on first and second order by quantity descending to get the top five and to get the top five will be limiting it to five we will run we have got error the expected output should be like this Okay, maybe here I can give user ID. The one criteria is C2 dot name should be greater than C1 dot name. And we have repeating products. Let's see if this works. Maybe there is a naming issue here. Alphabets case. 
upper case so we have got the answer uh, all test cases passed so this was the on the tough level heart level questions so yeah i hope you have got much information as needed in this one and understanding the questions that could be asked in a sql interview questions for data science or data analytics or data engineering role uh, i hope you have got the idea the platform that i've used here is interviewquery.com it's very user friendly and where you will get the interview questions from the companies like facebook amazon lift going to link down below you will get the enough number of interview questions to prepare for and here you can filter down the questions based on the company level and based on the experience level easy medium or hard i'm sure this is going to help you and i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye